Hello YouTube and this is a tutorial on how to make a nine digit button lock code. This is the setup. Um, it may look very like daunting but it isn't very, it's very easy to make. Um, yeah, it's very simple. I'll give you a demonstration of it first. Um, here is the number pad and my code is 1998 which is my birth of year. It can be changed, which I'll show you how to later. And you can hook it up to Nate Blocks as you can see here. And it makes cool noise. And as you can see, the door opened. And then you can close it from here. Yeah, sorry about all this mess, but you know you can tidy it up when you lock it yourself. And to close it once you've came through, just hit any number and it'll close. You don't have to hook up to one of these, it could be a door, a piston, you know, whatever you want it to be. So now I'm just going to go in and show you how to make it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do to make a coded door is do a 3x3 three three grid and on every single block place buttons. Once you've done that, you want to go around the back and place a redstone torch on all of the blocks that you placed the button on. Um, I don't know, I need to put my grasp sand down. Oh, there it is. And um, what we're going to be doing now is singling off all the redstone currents. So we'll start with one in the middle. We're going to do a, dig a five wide thing. But not wide on there. And then you want to, right underneath the torch, place redstone dust. And then a redstone repeater so that torch doesn't interfere with this one's current. And then you just want to keep on placing it up to here. And once you've done that, place a redstone torch. And now to finish off the bottom line, these are very easy ones. All you need to do is place redstone dust, then the repeater, and then the same on the other side. Okay, now what we're going to do is the middle line. To section off the middle line, what you want to do is place one block there, and then a repeater and then another block oh sorry and then redstone and then in the block in front of that place two repeaters and then you want to do that again on the other side like so now once you've done that what you want to do is place one block there this is for the middle one and then redstone dust in front of it and then one block on top okay now for the top line to do the top line what you want to do is place a block there and there and then with redstone just link it up place a repeater and then do the same again on the other side redstone redstone and then a repeater and then along the top, what you want to do for the top middle one is place three blocks and then you want to do resin dust, then a repeater so that torch there doesn't interfere with it and then redstone dust again and then from there what you want to do is what you want to do oh, is go down to like this and then place a repeater down like that and now from here what you want to do is place blocks all in front like that and this is where we're gonna hook up the notepad not notepad notebook so not notebook either no block Oh my god. Is so when you press the button it makes a little noise. So once you've done that, find a note block. Like this, so it's easiest to place it on top of the redstone torch. Yeah, I don't know if I, I just don't know why I was saying notepad. Yeah. And then like that. 
Okay, and once you've done that, this is where you decide what your password is. But first, just place repeaters down. All the repeaters I've placed down should just be on the default setting. Uh, like that. And here is where you choose your password. What you want to do is dig two down. all the way along until we get to the end which is here and then just dig one up and then from here you wanna place blocks all over that hole like this and what you wanna do is place redstone torches all along here <coughs> excuse me and then whatever button you want to pick so say I wanted the first one to be number one what I would do is I would follow it out so number one it goes through there onto that block and the repeater goes here so that means this torch here is number one so I'd destroy that and the block and then you put a block where it used to be underneath and then put a redstone wire going from there put the block back and then bring the redstone signal coming out like that and then we just repeat this um, as much as you want so you, could have, you don't have to have a four digit password it could be five, six, whatever but it all depends how much you repeat this so I'm only going to do a four digit password and yeah you guys make as long as you want so again we dig the two hole I'll just finish this one and then I'll pause it and bring it back so you don't have to watch me doing this over and over again so once you've done that again put the block over the top and then what you want to do is dig that one more hole, put the torches on top, and then for my next button I will pick number 9, and for that the signal goes off the torch, down here, off the repeater, over here, so that means I need to knock the torch off of there, place a block down, and then do the redstone signal. Uh, this is the most compact version of the lock I have seen. So yeah, it's a very good lock. I've used it quite a lot. And then again, bring it out. Let's bring it two out for now. So yeah, I hope that's like just the main bit hope you understand that so I'm just going to pause it now and bring it back when I've done the four digit okay so as you can see I've just repeated that sequence two more times and so you can see I've took away the number one torch the number nine torch the number nine torch and the number eight torch so that makes my password 1998 but as you know you can change it to the password to be whatever you want so for the next part you want to put four blocks like that, put a redstone torch on top, one at the end, a repeater here, stone block, redstone, and then top of that you put two blocks, and then here you put a redstone torch, and then what you want to do here is put a repeater, and then that again. And yep, and then we do this a few more times, and then so it's kind of in a zigzag pattern. So we don't we don't do the repeater this time. We just do the four blocks: redstone torch, redstone torch, repeater, stone block, redstone, 
and then the two stone blocks with resin torch. And the last time, this time it's repeater, three stone blocks, redstone torch, redstone torch, repeater, redstone, two stone blocks, and the redstone torch. And now what you want to do is, in between all of these, put a stone block, like that, and then redstone dust, like so. I think you need to do that, do you? No, signal that. And then, what you want to do now? Why am I signal laggy? I'm not normally this laggy, I think it's because I'm just recording. Just want to put redstone dust, and then redstone torch. And then you want to do that on top of all of them, like that. And now once you've done that, what you want to do is place redstone dust along these. And then here you want to place two blocks, like so. Okay, and once you've done that, place redstone torch here, and then you want to bring the stone out all the way to the very end, like that, and then you want to do that on every single line of these, bring it out. And then again place the redstone torch. Redstone torch. And then you want to bring it all the way out. Like this. Okay, and then you want to just keep on carrying it along. Like this. And now for the last one. Just want to do the same again. Redstone torch, and then just keep on bring it down to the end. And now you want to fill it with redstone all the way from beginning to end, except for this redstone torches. Okay, so you just want to no. Wherever the torch is, you want to place a repeater facing that way, I think. Yeah, facing that way. And then you just want to do the same again. This time the torch is there. Torch there and there, and then you want to do all the redstone, and then once you've done that, and yeah, once you've done that, you're pretty much done. So the output is here. See so if you just want to put a repeater, <coughs> excuse me, and so yeah, and then you want to take it to whatever you need to do, so just put a repeat on here. And just bring it round. To a iron door. Just to see if it works. And this should work. And there you go. That's how to make it work. And if you put in a wrong code, uh, say, but you have to wait, give it a couple of time, give it a few seconds before you press the red next button for it to load. Macy didn't open, so it only 
opens to the right code. And there we go, so you can link that to pistons, doors, anything you want. Um, that's about it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe as it really helps. Thanks a lot. Bye!